Ken Grossman, founder of Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Uh, we're here at the tasting room in Chico, California. As one of the pioneers of American brewing, we've, we've focused on what we've done uh, from our inception, which is use the, the best raw materials we can find. Uh, we feel that the best aromas and best flavors come from using the best ingredients, and we really have focused on sourcing those from different places around the world. My name's Sam Kellogg-Joni. I'm the president and founder of Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, and we are at our Milton production facility here in Delaware. You know, our uh, rallying cry is off-centered ales for off-centered people. Uh, we've always had a focus on more exotic ingredients in our beer, kind of looking that at the entire culinary landscape for potential ingredients in our beer. And that works in terms of our IPA portfolio as well. They're off-centered IPAs for off-centered people. Well, the, the style is called India Pale Ale, uh, short as IPA. And it was brewed originally for long voyages overseas uh, to India from England. And so the IPA style is now uh, a very popular style in the United States where we've really taken it to the next level. Uh, the American IPAs are, are renowned for being hoppy and aromatic and uh, full of character. In America, unfortunately, usually IPAs are served in straight side pint glasses because they're convenient to stack at restaurants and stuff. Your, your nose would be in an, an open environment that would just be dispersing the great aromatics out into the room and that doesn't do the IPA any, any good service. I've been uh, drinking beer out of Spiegel glasses for years and they're all wonderful as far as how they feel in your hand and, and what they do to the beverage you're drinking. Over the years we've really experimented with a lot of different glass shapes. The, the shape of the glass has a lot to do with how it, it brings the aroma to your nose. So if it's something that actually helps the liquid, we'll champion it. And we saw an opportunity to create a glass with a world-class company that was all about championing the unique liquid and the unique sort of DNA of IPAs and celebrating them. Um, we experimented with dozens and dozens of designs of glassware, different uh, bowl shapes, different depths, uh, nucleation and not nucleation in the bottom of the, of the glass. I'd say it was really about 50 or 60 iterations of different glasses that we looked at. In the first tasting, I, I started, uh, frankly, with skepticism that we could start at that place and end with a glass that was perfectly designed for IPA. Uh, we did it um, without talking, so each of us would take our own notes and then pick. Uh, uh, we did a lot of flights, and we would pick our favorite out of each flight, and we would then, as a group, compare our favorites, and it was amazing how often uh, we would pick the same glass. Basically what's happening with this space is these ridges uh, help to aerate the beer on, in the motion of the sip. They're creating more surface area and more friction for the liquid to move through and hit a solid on its way up. So it's breaking out more aromatics in that motion of bringing that beer up as it's hitting each of these ridges. By shaping this upper part kind of tall and slender and comes in, it acts as a sort of olfactory cannon that kind of shoots the hops, concentrates it, and pushes it towards your nose, doesn't just let it linger on the top of the beer in the glass. It's a, a noticeable improvement to drink beer out of a glass that really brings that aroma uh, to your nose as you're drinking. Went from skepticism to evangelism. I was, I was ready to spread the word. So a nice pour. This uh, glass enhances the head. Uh, it's got some nucleation on the bottom, which slowly releases some of the CO2 bubbles as it sits. And then the, the closed in uh, mouth next down the aroma right into your nose. Really tastes wonderful.